Yeah, um, <clears throat> this is a question, Jam 2000. And then uh, it's under permutation and combination. You see, this topic is a topic that Jam cannot do without. And uh, you have to be able to solve something like this in your examination. Permutation and combination. Permutation means arrangement, while combination is what? Selection. Excuse me. In how many ways can a delegation of three be chosen from among five men and three women? They want to select three people from five men and three women. If at least one man and at least one woman must be included. What does it mean? It means that they want to select three. Is that they select one man, two women, or they select one woman, two men? So solution. You will tell them, normally, n permutation r is n factorial over n minus r factorial. r factorial like this. This is what arrangement. Well, if I have n combination r, it is now n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial, the selection. But students, I want to explain what this factorial means. Some of you are confused. What is factorial? Look up. Factorial means, if I have 5 factorial, it simply means 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Do you understand? So this is 5 factorial. Now, they are to choose 3. three. So, you want a selection of what? Selection of 3. That means they are going to carry what? One man and two men or one woman and two men. That's what it means. Now, what is the total number of men? The men there, they are five. So men is five. And then the woman is three. It simply means they want to select one man and two men. Now, in, in probability, whenever you hear and, 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 what comes to your mind is what? Multiplication or addition. So, one man. What is the total number of men there? Five. That means it will become what? Five combination one. You see it? Let me write it again. Five combination one. And two men is what? What is the total number of women? Three. So three combination two. Do you understand me? Now, or means plus, or one woman, one woman, not one woman, no, one woman, that will become what? Three combination one. And two men, what is the number of men? Five. That will become what? Five combination two. Now, five combination one simply means five factorial over five minus one factorial. One factorial. One factorial is still one. Times, I told you, uh, and means times. Three combination two is what? Three factorial over three minus two factorial, then two factorial. Plus, three combination one is three factorial over three minus one factorial. Then times five factorial over what? Five minus two. Let me write it, 5 minus 2 factorial, then 2 what? Factorial. Now, 5 minus 1 is 4. Look at what I will do here now. 5 times 4, because of this 4 here, factorial over 4 factorial times 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 is what? 1. Then I'll just put what? 2 factorial plus... 3 factorial over 3 minus 1 is what? 2 factorial times 5 factorial over 5 minus 2 is what? 3 factorial then 2 what? Factorial. No, this one we cancel this. 
3 factorial is 3 times 2. So that means I will say 5 times 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. What am I doing? So these two we cancel. This fact, 2 factorial cancel 2 factorial. Then plus 3 factorial is what? 3 times 2 factorial over 2 factorial. This one will not cancel this. Then times. What is 5 factorial? 5 times 4 times 3 factorial over 3 factorial times what? 2 factorial. So that this 3 factorial will cancel this one. And 2 factorial is 2 times 1, which is what? 2. So 2 year 1, 2 year is what? 2. So I have this, what I have is what? 5 times 3 plus 3 times 5 times 2 year. 5 times what? 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Then 10 times 3 is what? 30. So here is 30 plus here is what? 15. 15 plus 30 is what? 45. So the answer is what? Option A, 45. If you solve it, you will get it. So the number of ways of selecting three from five men and three women, if one man and one woman must be included, is what? 45 ways.